The next project on the list here is getting the OS Geiken limited slip differential unit uh, tuned specifically for the car. So in the rear end, you see I got hot sport mounts on here. This is an EVS extended diff cover, which is probably why it doesn't look like any other diff cover you've seen on an S2000. So I'm draining that currently. I have uh, drive shaft shop 500 horsepower axles on here. I'm gonna put the stock units back in. But first things first, I got the, uh, the drive shaft off the car. I got the axles unbolted and I'm just letting this differential drain uh, so I can just uh, pull this down, pull the LSD unit out and get it tuned specifically for my use. So it's draining slowly, but it's draining. So everything in here is looking very basic and stocked. Uh, the brakes are going to be changed out for stop techs. The coilovers are going to be changed out for MCSs. And what I'm going to do right now is change the bushings on the upper control arms with these offset bushings. So you can see the hole is not drilled in the center like a normal one. It's pushed in and this allows you to get more camber. So for NASA SD5 classing, you don't have to take a penalty for offset bushings. One other way that you can achieve uh, more camber on this car is changing the lower ball joints. Uh, and that will also do the job, but they make you take a 0.2 power to weight ratio hit. So uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna press these out. This is not my favorite method of doing it. Uh, there's a little bind in the suspension when you do it this way, uh, using these bushings. Uh, in my last car, I ran the offset bushings. I'm sorry, I didn't run the offset bushings. I ran the uh, adjustable ball joints in the bottom and I ran sphericals as well. That setup really worked great, but I'm trying to keep this car light as possible so I don't wanna take the extra points. So. Here goes nothing. I got both control arms out. And something I like to do, uh, they're symmetrical left to right, is I'll stack them on top of each other. And it's an easy way, I'll check, make sure that they're exactly even all the way around. It's a really easy way to, to check if you have a bent control arm. And I'll do this before and I'll do this after. If you're not super great at a press, it's uh, not too difficult to mistakenly bend these when you're pushing out. So what we're doing here, to be clear, is these are the stock rubber bushings that are in here and they're going to be replaced with offset bushings which the hole is offset from center which will allow the control arm to be pushed in to the body of the car increasing the camber and again we're doing this because of uh, the increased camber that we're trying to get without taking the points uh, for using something that would push the bottom of the tire out now, these are made of Derwin uh, they're all right I'll show you some of the issues I've had with these in the past when I go back to put them on. But for now, let's get these things pressed out. All right, so it's coming out. Here you go. We're pushing the bearing out, or in this case, the rubber bushing. And we're pushing uh, that socket in to the receiving end. Just checking for bind. Making sure nothing's touching anything that would cause a bend. It's got a little contact there. Alright, that moves out of the way free enough. There we go. It's coming out. I hate doing this. I did the whole entire car last year. Uh, and then I had to put the metal ones in. So, there we go. It's out. Let's see what it looks like. It's probably going to fall out. There we go. That is one press control arm and now to do four more or three more in this case so i just did a quick check to make sure that the control arms are totally straight and true still nothing got bent in the press and you're just looking to make sure these are aligned ask me how i know these things are pretty easy to bend in a press well last year when i did this i was fairly new to using this thing and uh i may have bent one or two of them so i had to order different control arms and everything like that no big deal so this is the old bushing. These came out perfect. They almost look like they probably can be reused again. So the stock bushing, you'll see, there's not a ton of rubber in them. They, uh, they're pretty solid. I think uh, Honda did a great job with these. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing them with these. They're gonna get pushed in from both sides. It uses a washer for a spacer. Then what you can see effectively is that uh, this is going to suck. Actually, it's going to be mounted this way. It's going to suck that control arm into the body of the car. So that's what these things do. All right. So something to note, there's a thin side and there's a fat side. The fat side goes on the outside. So I uh, just tap in that fat side with a hammer 
and uh, get that in there. Then I started feeding the uh, this bolt thing right through here, just enough so there's some showing out the back side. So I'll keep going, that way I can align the other thin side, and that's it, and I'll squeeze them together, and this will be done. Right outside, thin side, inside. Uh, this is pushed in enough where I can kind of line it up with that hole and then feed the back side in here. So that's all together in the press. Um, if I spend enough time with the hammer, it'll probably go in, but I have the tool and I'm going to use it to make my life easy. There we go, last little bit. All right, the press is telling me it is squeezed. It does not want to squeeze anymore, so it's a 20 ton bottle jack on the top of that thing, so I'll listen before I bend anything. That's it, one side is done. Pretty annoying. But there we go, that's it. And there we have our final product now. You can see these holes are aligned as best as I could get them. You just gotta eyeball it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, looks pretty good. There's two washers that go on both ends of these. Grease them up just so they can move freely and that's it. And I'm gonna call it a wrap for now. I've uh, made some decent progress. I got the suspension out of the car now. Uh, the control arms are out. I'll be doing the brakes soon. Front and back, all the shocks are out. Uh, I picked up a uh, Long Acre 17 inch mirror from OG Racing. And this thing needs a little bit of a modification so I can get it really far away from me. And uh, it's just gonna have a little bracket that I need to put in here between this and this piece. So that's in, fire suppression is in, this thing. It's really coming together now. I ordered a, uh, a new Sparco harness, new trick Sparco harness in blue that just came out, new model. Uh, look forward to showing you guys that. And that's really it. Now the other part of the project, go and list parts for sale that have come off the car. One other thing that I have left to do is install the CarTech battery isolator, which is gonna go somewhere in this area. And then I will be taking this differential and moving the limited slip from it and sending that off to OS Geek and it's pronounced, but I just call it OS Geek and whatever most people do and uh, get that thing back in the car. So this project is coming along. Once I get the harness in, I'll put the, uh, the seat in and then I can button the hard top on. That's really what I've been waiting for as far as getting the top back on. And then uh, the wing has to go back on and a little bit detailing and then I'm probably gonna end up wrapping this car. Uh, Maybe Nardo Gray, looking for some good suggestions on that. And that's where we are.